Europe, Asia, Australia, North America, South America, Antarctica, Africa. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. If you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for always coming back to my channel. And you know, I've been wanting, I've been learning, I've been needing to do this video for the longest, longest time from the time I came to Russia but I couldn't find time that's what I can say to do a tour of my dormitory where I am staying at the moment most of you if you don't know I'm a student from Zambia studying masters in epidemiology at one of the famous universities here in Russia to be specific Moscow called Sechnov and there are dormitories that the um, different universities have built post-Soviet Union they are quite different they are quite modern and you just live as if you are at home so what are we doing today today we are just exploring my hostel where foreign students live and it is in the outskirts of Moscow a little bit for me to go to the university I need to take a bus I need to take a metro about 30 minutes and I am outside already you might think that you are just somewhere there in the compound but not really because this place is surrounded by a living complex where people live and this is the exterior view of the hostel where I am staying at the moment and there it is even written search of medical university oh I forgot to say that it is just a medical university let's get inside we walk around and i'll take you inside to show you some of the specific features and some of the security measures that are here because you cannot just get inside there if you are not a student there is a special card that you need to get from the university let me even uh, show you this is the card so i just have to tap there and it will open let's check some of the interesting things which are there and even here it is written halls of residence which means dormitory or hostel it depends with the english that you use and here there is definitely definitely high security let's check It opens just like that. Oh, and this is how it looks from the inside. It is like this. And uh, that's first thing. See? Let's just walk around because there are some special things that you can uh, find down here. And that is the address as you are now to uh, and the video cameras probably sec the security are wondering what am i doing yeah i am finally exploring this place where are you watching this video from i think during the video i would like you to introduce or to drop your comments how are hostels in your country where you are studying uh, because it is quite interesting here these dormitories are quite new they were built maybe uh, 10 years or uh, 20 years ago with the modern equipments inside this is a football pitch it's a volleyball pitch it's a basketball pitch it is everything under one roof so that is the goal post and that is a basketball net or basket whatever i don't know those people who play basketball they know and there is also a net for volleyball there what else can you find if you like doing fitness you can uh, also do fitness there is an interesting um, swing yes <laughs> yes 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 there is an interesting swing where you can swing we are just walking around you just walk around here you can sit and swing today it was uh, raining and uh, 
probably it is um wet and that's why i can't sit there and swing even here even here you can enjoy life as well here it's for fitness purposes let me try to do that and this is the view from the other side and what are we going to do we are going now to enter inside i know there are so many students uh, from you know um, who are studying in different countries coming from different countries again so just drop a comment you let me know what are some of the differences that you are going to notice in this uh video or the hostel here that we have in um russia i was i remember when i was studying in yakusk even the hostel was kind of like this there is a lot of similarities here you are going to find different different students from different countries there is you know from asia from i think there is no one from if i'm not mistaken maybe the others from europe you know africa north america south america and uh, australia i don't know because australia is a continent and it's a country at the same time and outside there there is security you open the door and there is information there here let us get on the lift Opa, it has closed let me try to open if it is going to open good yes and to me i live on the fifth floor so i don't know if i should take you on minus or fifth floor but let's go to fifth so we check how the corridors are looking and here you are going to oh here there is no minus others they even have minus and you can even see the elevator you call it elevator lift yes it is quite modern compared to those that they used to make during the soviet union this is my floor where i live and uh, if you are in the mood of getting lost there are also signs here this is the fifth floor etage. yes so me i'm going this side so this is other uh, these are the corridors one of the most interesting thing that is these hostels are equipped with uh, fire extinguishers in case of an outbreak of fire so you can just simply open this one and you start extinguishing fire and they are quite interesting portraits that they have uh, put i don't know probably these are different regions of russia yes even on the other side here the pictures are quite uh, different for the energy that i'm putting in to make this video because i've been wanting to make this video for the longest time just subscribe just drop a comment what do you think about this hostel did you expect to see such kind of a hostel from russia because others would say that no i'm a propagandist i've been paid to do this video but i'm doing this video just with my own accord because i know there are a lot of people who are interested to know how people live in russia in different ways and this is one another interesting way student life how we live and the kind of hostels that we have let me take you to the uh, balcony yes there is a balcony where you can have an interesting view of the city yes i hope the door is open oh it is open guys mostly before i was scared of heights but not anymore and this is the view from the balcony then see when a balcony if you want you can sit and chill with your friends you can even see those people sitting there chilling enjoying life because we only live here once and that's where i started with my introduction just look at the road the greenery it is almost 
summer and the temperature today is plus 18 and look at those buildings around they wouldn't want to live in such a hostel where there is even a balcony where you can view the city with an aerial view and let us get inside we check how the rooms are how it is i remember when i was uh, at ruden it is a uh, good friendship university i've forgotten the name but it is famous here in russia because it's the only university with the highest number of foreign students there is a hostel that i visited where the bed space was about for four people in one room but where i was uh, studying before because it's a post uh, soviet era hostel the the rooms are tailor made just for two or three people and the space is quite good you even have your own privacy even here that's one thing that i like because two um rooms one um kitchen yes which is a good thing and in other hostels you are going to find that maybe for about maybe 12 rooms where there are four people each each there's only one kitchen those are the dormitories that i'm talking about which were built maybe 50 years ago 70 years ago but these ones they are quite new let's go and um check out don't forget to like and just announce where you are watching this video from and if i have time guys i will do a video how to get a free scholarship to study in russia even me i just got a free scholarship to start to come and study here i never paid anyone i never used an agent i did some olympiads it's quite uh, interesting if you don't have uh, money enough you know to sponsor yourself you can do olympiads and get a scholarship that's what i did let's go this is my room number 514 oh, and uh, this is the toilet only for four people this is the shower there is even a wardrobe where you can put your clothes yes first room and the second room and this is the kitchen for for people well maintained very clean neat and this is the fridge I even like the pictures which are here and everything so don't forget we are touring the international hostel here in russia in moscow to be specific what are some of the unique features that you've found on these speakers they are like public for public announcement in case of an emergency or in case of anything they have a nice curtains One day, if I've got time, I will do a full room tour. There is even Tombuchka side table. It is for only two people. And this is another interesting cupboard or wardrobe. You can put your things there and the view from here, the sunset. The way, wow. This sunset is amazing. It's awesome. Jesus Christ. I never expected it. And down there you can even see the football pitch. And there there is a car wash. And that building is a 
car park. People park their cars from there. And this is the room that I am talking about. It is quite big and there are also sofas. Mostly there are three sofas. I don't know where the other one has gone. So you can sit here, you study, you do whatever you want to do. And this is a place where we mostly do our assignment from with my friend from Mozambique. And let's now go to the miners floor that's where the things are going to get uh, interesting because that's where you find the washing machines that's where you find the fitness center that's why you find the um, rooms room for a doctor or a nurse in case of cases and this is the side where there is a minus floor on the other one there is no minus floor Here you're going to find that most of the buildings they have got minus floors, so that's where we are going. I don't know if in your countries you've got such kind of floors called minus floors, or in Here other countries are. they are called uh, ground floors, something like that. Once you come on the minus floor, this is how it looks. You are going to find that mostly internet doesn't work you need to use the university wi-fi in this minus floor you are going to def find different technical things where they have uh, put different different things and this is where i also come to wash my clothes this is the electricity whatever room you can even see the symbol yes otherwise don't forget to like this video we are exploring the international dormitory here in russia in moscow these are built and there is even a sofa there you can wait as you are washing your clothes and there you can iron your clothes let's get inside and see what are some of the interesting things so those are washing machines it is quite surprising that today most of them they are quite free you can even see the numbers and here washing is not for free you need to pay i think it's a good initiative because the money that we pay uh, for washing it is used to renovate or to repair these washing machines so you can even see this is where um, the washing machine ends on 12 from here to this until 16 these are not washing machines they are dryers you put your clothes here they dry them up i don't know the name of this machine drop a comment or drop what is the name of this washing machine and probably you're asking how do you pay for these machines everything is just simple as you may think you see this is the terminal you just need to punch in the number of the machine that you are going to use or you want to use and you after you punch in then it will bring the amount you can pay by card you can pay by qr code you can even see the amount i think it's about maybe 150 dollars somewhere there if i am not wait what am i thinking 150 rubles somewhere there this is another interesting thing and here these are some of the whatsapp groups that you can call in case there is something that you need to find out or there is uh, some problems with the machine what do you think about this strategy the kind of washing machine that they have here do you have such kind of strategy in your hostel drop a comment guys let's go check out other things that are here on the ground or minus etage i've shown you the washing machine someone told me that here you can find um the i saw a doctor's room yeah i don't know where i saw it here you can put your things here <laughs> 
this is cabinet vrach so if there is uh, someone maybe who is not feeling okay you can come here and you consult they will tell you what to do and this is the working time the time that they work which is quite good and we've come finally to the fitness hall train prena journey zao This is how the interior view of the fitness hall looks like. If you want to do fitness, if you want to keep yourself fit, everything is just in one place. You can all see this equipment around the weight and other things. When I was at Ruden, you could even see that uh, some you know fitness place they were just outside people were doing it from outside but unfortunately i just found myself uh in this hostel which is very far from the university there are other hostels which are just near to the university uh, i think the hostel where i was studying before in yakutia it had oh it has a cafe down on the first floor where you can eat i don't know about this place if they have got a cafe it seems like there is no cafe here you just cook your own food which is uh, a good thing what do you think about this hostel what are some of the interesting or what are some of the things that you found to be unique in this hostel that are not in the hostel or if you're watching this video you started maybe 20 30 50 years ago how was your student life by then in the hostel how were your hostels built because they have really changed how to build the hostel after the soviet union right now they are quite modern that is what i can um say oh there is yes even here there is um, a cafe where you can even eat this is what i was talking about unfortunately i think it is uh locked today it is not uh working you can even see the spoon here oh, no, no no the fork and the knife and uh, okay that's my roommate from <laughs> yemen <laughs> good it is uh, i think locked oh they even have a cafe as well let us go and check other things we are almost almost coming to the end of this video otherwise i have enjoyed walking around i've enjoyed making this vlog this is just a quite a comfy comfortable library where you can study if you've got assignment and other things you can even see other students sitting here studying doing different assignments and well i can comfortably say that this hostel has been tailor made for student it has got everything that you would want talk of a fitness center talk of a cafe talk of uh, the washing machine room talk of you know the fridge talk of everything that you would want ah, I've, now i'm happy after making this tour walking around with you i'll be waiting for your comments i'll be waiting for your opinions and suggestion about this hostel what do you think about it thank you very much for always coming back to my channel thank you very much for always liking my videos i really appreciate and i will see you in my next video if i have time i'll make a video i promise how to get a free scholarship to study in russia if you're interested to study in russia it was your boy matthews aka match 08 from zambia see you love you Bye.